Today we're going to start to have a look at vectors. Now, all a vector is, is a quantity which has both a size and a direction. So typically it will have two parts to it. So a vector may be written in brackets as one number above the other number. And the two numbers describe the vector. So the top number, in this case the 3, tells you from the starting point how far along the vector goes. So that's the distance along. And the second number, the 5, tells you the distance up or down. So it's the distance up or down the vector goes. So starting from a random point, which I'm going to call A, this vector 3, 5 would be 1, 2, 3 units across, and then from there count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units up to a point B, join A to B, and put an arrow on to show which way you are going, because it does matter, and that would be your vector, which is described numerically as 3, 5. So if I wanted to draw the vector described numerically as minus 2, minus 1, this time I'd have a starting point, just a random starting point. Minus 2 means I move 2 units to the left. Minus 1 means I move 1 unit down. So minus 2, minus 1 is a little vector, and again, put the arrow on to show which way you are moving. Now, very often vectors are given letters as names. So this first vector up here, for example, the one that goes from A to B, I may describe by the vector A. And to show it's a vector, you tend to underline. In textbooks, you will see the A printed as bold. So this letter here the A, describes the vector, I'm going to under underline it, the textbooks will make it bold. And the vector minus 2 minus 1, if I call it quite randomly the vector B, again to show it's a vector, I'm going to underline it. Right, now vectors are quite easy numerically to combine. So if I wanted to add together the above two vectors, so if I'm going to do 3, 5, plus minus 2 minus 1. You treat the top number and the bottom number separately. So writing it out in full, the top number would become 3 plus minus 2, and the bottom number is 5 plus minus 1. And I'll put the minus 2 in a bracket as well. It just keeps the minus with the number and is a little bit neater. So the top number becomes 3 plus minus 2, which three is 3 take away 2, which is 1. The bottom number, 5 plus minus 1, is 5 take away 1, which is 4. So the result would be the vector 1, 4. You can take two vectors away from each other. So 3, 5 take away minus 2, minus 1. Again, treat the top and the bottom separately. So I will have 3 minus minus 2 at the top, and 5 minus minus 1 at the bottom. 3 minus minus 2 is 3 plus 2, which is 5, and 5 minus minus 1 is 5 minus 1, which is 6. So that results in the vector 5, 6. You can multiply a vector just by a number. So if I do two lots of the first vector, two lots of 3, 5, then again treat the top and the bottom separately, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 5 is 10. If I do the same thing with the bottom vector, so let's assume we're going to do 4 lots of minus 2, minus 1, 4 times minus 2 is minus 8, and 4 times minus 1 is minus 4.